No way, is this a coach purse? Oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm about to go hit my first dumpster of the day, so hopefully we have some good luck. But as always, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy my videos, please give me a like. It helps me out so, so much. And also leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite thing I found today was. Before we get into the video, I did want to thank today's sponsor, Biotrust. Just like anyone else, we all age. But as you've gotten older, have you felt like your hair is getting thinner? You notice more fine lines and wrinkles and even brittle nails? If you're anything like me, you've at least noticed one of these things. But that's where Biotrust comes in. Biotrust combines two anti-aging superheroes, each clinically studied to help fight visible signs of aging. And the best part is, unlike other brands that only contain one or two types of collagen, limiting its benefits, Biotrust contains five types of collagen in one. Some of my favorite benefits is that it helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, as well as maintaining healthy hair and nails. Not only does it have amazing health benefits, but it also tastes delicious. It has a nice golden milk flavor. You can mix it into homemade lattes, hot, cold, and the best part is it doesn't clump up. So be sure to click that link below to get up to 51% off of your order plus free shipping. Thank you again to Biotrust for sponsoring this video. Checking my Ulta, I just pulled out one box that had a hairdryer and the cord was, the cord was not cut. I just pulled this box, it's really heavy. I can't really tell what's inside. I'm just gonna grab it. It's really soupy. So hopefully we have some good luck with these boxes. I'm gonna double check everything else in here. There's a bag in here and it's full of these Diva Curls. Of course, they did dump it out, but there are a ton of them in here. There's also some oils and they did the same thing to the stuff in here. I think these are Curl Smith, but they dumped everything out. All right, I'm back home now. I took both of the soup boxes with me. We're just gonna start opening them up. This one right on top has a hair dryer and the cord is not cut, so that's a huge surprise. But I'm just gonna start checking it out and let's see what we can find inside. It is super messy today, but there's a bunch of drunk elephant skincare in here that I'm able to save because they couldn't break the tops on it. There's some moisturizers like that, another one there. There's also a hairspray, it j they just pop the top off, but this one is full. And then of course the hair dryer was also in this box. And then this box over here, a lot of it is just completely dumped out. There's so much shampoo and conditioner, but there's some things like this that I'm able to save, a couple of those. And then there's also some hair brushes in here. I just finished cleaning everything up. This is insane, quick overview, but they threw out like the whole Drunk Elephant skincare line. All of these are full. And then some Chanel makeup. All of those were thrown away. They were just loose in the dumpster. A couple of hairbrushes, brand new tags, hair dryer again, brand new, which is crazy. And then there's some hair care products. I was able to see these two, but they dumped out so much shampoo and conditioner, it was insane. And then this one is just missing the top piece, but I can easily replace it with another one. And for the hair dryer, I even found both of the attachments. Let's take a look at Five Below. It's a bunch of food and candy. This is so sad to see, but bags and bags. These bags are massive too, but a bunch of that popcorn. This is, these are lollipops and they're still sealed. That's insane. They're not even open yet. Another one, barely open, lollipops. It just goes all the way down. Another one that's sealed. All of these are sealed still. I couldn't find an expiration date, but these are still sealed. I am just shocked by what they threw away here. And a lot of this is about to expire or it did expire, but they need to do something where they like donate it a month before it expires. This way it just doesn't end up in here because this is taking up like the majority of this dumpster. This is so sad to see. Okay, I'm checking my Old Navy, and this is going to be super sad, but they sliced everything. There's so much clothing. It still has tags, a little kid's shirt, but it goes all the way down. They dump stuff out on it, like candy, but I checked basically everything in here, and it is all just completely destroyed. Like, look at this one. They go crazy here. I've only gotten lucky at Old Navy once, and it wasn't this location. But just to show you 
old navy is so sad checking my lululemon dumpster and there's a pretty big bag in here i already see some of these reusable bags and then looks like gift cards so i just ripped it open and it looks like there's a few of these reusable bags i'm gonna take with me and then might actually be that might actually be some clothing in here let me rip it open there's a, another reusable bag this one is a huge one and then there's actually some clothing in here and it looks like this might be like a little bra maybe a shirt looks a little bit big to be a bra so it might be a shirt and then these ones pair of leggings and i think they're lulu let me yeah there's the logo so these are also some lululemon leggings I'm gonna take a look and see if they're damaged. So here's what I found. I did check them out. I don't see any rips on them. So they might just be like customer return, but they do look like they're used. There's a shirt and then there's a pair of leggings. Um, they have like a little stain on them. That's why I think they're used, but still pretty cool. And I'm sure I can wash it and get that stain out. At Bath and Body Works and it's super full, but I'm trying to find some of the good stuff. I found this bag and it's kind of heavy, so I grabbed it. I see some candles and super cute wallflower holidays. That is so cute. Some unused wallflower oils, candle, a, another lightly burnt candle, and I saw, I think, a broken candle. Let me grab that. And there's also a couple more of these wallflowers. I found two of these. Right in the back, I see a bag with probably a candle. So let me grab that. This one has a couple of hand soap holders. I think, yeah, I think they're broken, but can still be used. It looks like they did try to dump out some lotions. But I do see some broken candles. Another one right here. Okay, so far, I found a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna double check. I'm checking my Joanne's dumpster. I just saw her throw all this trash away, but it looks like there's a ton of these, which, oh, they're chocolate melts. There's so many, I'll show you the other side. Oh, somebody left their diving stick. I'm just gonna leave it there for them, but you can see how many are over here. And, oh, this is cool. This looks like a bunch of trophies from 1997. I wonder why they threw these away. Must be a like somebody that just threw their trash away here, but there's a bunch of like personal belongings. Hey guys, I'm dumpster diving at TJ Maxx and there's a huge bag here and I opened it up already, but there's a coach purse right here. It looks like a really good bag of stuff. I think I'm just gonna grab this whole thing and take it with me. But there's also like a sweater in here. So it's daytime, so I'm gonna hurry up and just get this in the car. I was just about to leave and I checked the other side. There's some loose stuff here. There's a purse and then it looks like some Calvin Klein stuff. It is opened up, but I'm gonna grab all this, get this in the car, and I'm also gonna go through the bag and show you what we find. Okay, I took the bag with me and I'm starting to go through it. Here's that purse I found and it's definitely a coach purse. It still has its original tags, $275. That's insane. I don't see anything wrong with it. I'm going to test the zipper, but it looks brand new. And then it looks like there's just a bunch of random stuff in here. There's some dog toys. Oh, what is this? BioSilk shampoo. I think it's like a shampoo and conditioner set. That's really cool. I think that's expensive too. Oh yeah. Oh, they crossed it off. $17 for that. There's also a sweater in here. It's like a sweatshirt, but it's a Calvin Klein sweatshirt. And again, they did cross it off, but still has tags on there. Oh, that is so pretty. There's some hair clips and I saw a dog toy. Is that? Oh, it's a Christmas dog toy. That is really cute and the squeaker works. <laughs> And there's also a couple of candles, and they're not burnt. I don't think it's broken either. That one's not broken. This is a Halloween candle, and that one's not broken. And let's see if it's burnt. No, it's not. So these are both new. And there's also some skincare in here. It looks like it's missing one, but skincare. And I think the last thing is this dog Christmas ornament. 
and it is ripped, but it looks like it's in there. A piece might be missing, so I'll double check that. Here's everything I found from TJ Maxx. This was definitely one of my best scores at TJ Maxx in a long time. So this sweatshirt, there's a lot of name brand stuff, but this sweatshirt is brand new. I didn't see anything wrong with it. This purse is my favorite find. The zipper works, and again, there's like no cuts or damage on it and it retailed for $250. Candles and some skincare. There's also the shampoos and conditioners, just a bunch of random stuff. Dog toys. There's also the Steve Madden purse, which is again, brand new. I think there's like a little stain on the inside, but that's it. And then there's also the Calvin Klein stuff, and these are like $20 each. So that is really cool. They were ripped open, but they're all inside. So this was definitely a really good TJ Maxx score. I'm gonna keep checking here. I haven't checked here in a long time because I just haven't gotten lucky, but I'm gonna keep checking here. I hope you guys enjoyed this jackpot. I was putting everything back in the car and I dropped one of the candles and I broke it. I'm so mad at myself.